Yo guys, Jonathan here. Have you ever been in a situation where you knew there was something you shouldn't buy, like really shouldn't buy, but you still wanted to anyways? That is this, the $200 wireless charger that you don't need, but still kind of want. So this was in my Amazon cart for a long time. I went back and forth, should I buy this, should I not? It looked interesting. One, aesthetically, it was really unique, not really like any other wireless chargers out there. And two, there's a 22,000 milliamp hour battery inside. So in theory, once this is charged up, it is truly wireless where you can place anywhere you want. I think what finally won me over is on the Amazon page, the first bullet point you see is Scandinavian design. I'm thinking to myself, well, Scandinavia brought us Swedish Fish, Ikea, PewDiePie. That is a really impressive list. I then go down this weird rabbit hole and find the five greatest Scandinavian inventions, the first of which being the heart rate monitor, which is kind of a big deal. Two is the speaker. Are you kidding me? You're more than likely using a speaker to listen to this video right now. They also invented the three-point seat belt. That's kind of a huge deal. The best cheese cutter in the galaxy. The trip trap chair, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but four out of those five were clearly enough to get me to buy the wireless charger. Now going into this, I wanted to be as objective as possible. Without a doubt, the number one reason why you wouldn't buy this is the price. 200 bucks is a lot of money. On the low end of the spectrum, I've covered a dual wireless charger that is 25 bucks. Two phones, it's not flashy, it's not truly wireless, so you have to be plugged into a wall, but it does the job and you could buy eight of those for this price. Now, aside from aesthetic and its unique look, the reason I could get behind this is the fact that I think it's really geared to kind of stay in one spot. What I mean by that is picture this. You have someone over, they need to charge because that always happens. You being the nice guy or girl you got from a battery bank or even a smaller wireless charger like this, the problem with that is that it's small and kind of screams, take me, move me, and put me in a place you're not gonna find me after. With this, yeah, it is truly wireless, so you have that freedom and flexibility to put it anywhere you want, but I think for the most part, the idea is to put it in an entranceway in your kitchen and it's big enough to where someone's not gonna put it in their pocket or accidentally walk off with it. What's also cool with this is that it's kind of stealthy. At a first glance, I don't think anyone would know or guess that this is a piece of tech. It looks like somewhere where you place your keys or kitchen items, and then all of a sudden, bam, you got a secret hidden wireless charger. Now to turn this on, the power button is located on the bottom, and the initial reaction might be, why the heck would I wanna flip this upside down every time I use it? But the way it works is, once you set your phone down, you actually push down, that engages the power button, and then turns everything on, which is kinda smart. The one weird thing I'll say though is these LED lights are supposed to indicate the amount of power or charge left in the side. I'm not sure if I got a faulty unit or it was just kind of a weird design, but it's not super clear or easy to read. Mine kind of looks like there's this film or plastic that doesn't want to come off and maybe that's the case. At certain angles, it also looks like maybe those LEDs bounce off a table or reflective surface, but overall, I would have liked to have seen something clearer and maybe at the top of the unit. This one here is called Deep Sea, which looks really nice, especially when you get that right angle of light that bounces off of it. But on top of that, it also comes in walnut, sunburst, and maple as well. The one thing I wouldn't expect with this though are fast charging times. I think for the most part, that's kind of expected with wireless chargers. If you need that fast, quick charge, hands down, plugged in is the way to go. With an iPhone 10, in about 40 minutes, I went from about 15% up to 35% battery. It's not a huge jump, but again, I think the thing to remember is that this isn't gonna be your main form of charge in your house, more so just a cool bonus like somewhere in your kitchen. Now again, this is intended to charge two phones simultaneously. Here's an iPhone 10 next to a Galaxy Note 8. It works, but I could see if you had two large phones next to each other, it might get a little bit crowded. Overall, it's cool, I like it, I would use it, but at $200, it's a little bit of a hard sell. Potentially, if it was priced closer to 129 bucks or 149 bucks, it would be a little bit easier to swallow, but at that price, you can definitely get a lot more for your buck. That being said though, if you like the looks, if you like the uniqueness of it, if you like the idea of having something that is truly wireless, the idea with this is it's supposed to last around a week or two without even charging it. So in that case, it works as advertised. The only problem with it, again, is that it's pricey as hell. Now I would love to hear your opinion, is it worth the money or hell no, I would never pay that much money for a wireless charger. If you're on that side of the camp, I'll post some links to some of my favorite that won't break the bank. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go on that like button. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.